right guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in so a few weeks ago I installed the Grim Speed bypass valve and as promised I wanted to share my thoughts on it and mainly compare it against my nameless performance bypass valve that I had right before the Grim Speed one also if you missed the sound clips video that I released on this Grim Speed bypass valve then I'll link it in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourselves but like I mentioned this video is gonna be more of a comparison video between the nameless performance bypass valve that I have right here against the Grim Speed that I recently installed. Usually I would do a point of view driving video for these things, but I figure we change it up a bit so I can really formulate my thoughts on the subject. And also it's very hard to focus and think of what I'm gonna say when I'm driving sometimes. So I figure this will be the next best thing. I do wanna mention that I'm not bashing any brands here. I'm simply providing you with my honest opinions and I'll do my best to portray the specifics I'm describing by inserting clips of the sounds just so you get a good idea of what I'm talking about. Both bypass valves have their differences and both also sound good so with that said let's dive right into it so when pressurized air is released back into the system it creates some cool sounds one of those sounds is the flutter sound so the first thing I noticed right off the bat is that you really get that classic flutter sound that everyone wants with the Grim Speed bypass valve and it catches you off guard since it happens pretty often whenever you release the throttle and it never fails to let you know that it's there This bypass valve had little to no flutter even when you mash the throttle. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's mainly personal preference when it comes to these things. And another sound with pressurized air being released is the good old psh sound. The sound is a lot louder and more delayed with the nameless bypass valve and what I mean by delayed is that instead of a quick psh, it's more of a higher pitch psh that lasts around two seconds but with no flutter. So. Like I said, even though it doesn't flutter, the sound is more audible than the Grim Speed Bypass valve, and that's just what I noticed right off the bat. The third thing on my list as far as overall noises and loudness, the Grim Speed Bypass Valve seems to be louder towards the higher RPMs with more throttle input whereas the Nameless Bypass Valve has more of a loud suction sound throughout the entire RPM band regardless of how much throttle input you're giving it. And if I could summarize the main difference between the two, I would say that the Grim Speed Bypass Valve produces more of a flutter sound while the Nameless Bypass Valve has more of a psh sound. So if the flutter sound is something you're chasing after then definitely consider getting a Grim Speed Bypass Valve. I don't really have any experience with the Boomba Bypass Valve, but I do know a lot of people are running that one, and also same with the Cobb. Maybe that's something I'll get in the future, but for now I'm pretty satisfied with the Grim Speed. And also don't sleep on the OEM Bypass Valve. I know it's plastic, but those things are reliable, and honestly I didn't have to get anything. I could have just kept it stock, nothing was wrong with it, but I wanted some cool sounds, and that's what I got with swapping that out. But if there's nothing wrong with your OEM bypass valve then there's no need to change it it can handle a lot of power but that's not the same for the turbo inlet so mine actually cracked when I was swapping it out with the Grim Speed cast aluminum turbo inlet so that's something that I would highly recommend if you're having any air fuel issues with the car 
So that might help, that might not, but again, I got it for a peace of mind. And another thing I noticed is that I get more frequent exhaust pops with the Grim Speed Bypass valve. And I know that's cool and all, but this could be indicative of a vacuum leak. And I know this for a fact because my 2008 Legacy GT had the same exact symptoms when I had an improperly adjusted bypass valve installed. So I had the GFB hybrid blow off valve, which was completely open, so it was venting to atmosphere. Essentially, it was a blow-off valve and every time I got off of the throttle it would pop loudly wasn't healthy for the car, I figured out the settings on that thing and seemed to have fixed the issues. And also I do notice that my air fuel ratios have been elevated since installing the Grim Speed Bypass valve. One possibility is a potential leak on that spot where it connects to the turbo inlet. So I have the nameless performance bypass valve right here. I am referring to this this part right here. So Grim Speeds I believe is threaded on there and I need to go back in there and check it out to see if it's leaking from that spot. If it is, then that should fix my issues. But uh, if not, then I'm gonna have to figure out something. Grimspeed told me that this could be a machining or an assembly issue. It's just the product is so new that it's hard to tell right now. And because of this, the car on two separate occasions stalled right after a pull. So I was doing a wide open throttle pull and right after releasing the throttle, the car just shut off. And I kid you not, I thought I blew my motor. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't blow, obviously. It was just something else. Rest assured, I am actively working with Grim Speed to determine what it could be and what could be causing this issue. I'll be sure to report back to you guys what I find when I look into this more in depth. So in summary, the Grim Speed bypass valve sounds more refined in my opinion. It needs a little more throttle input to get it to go off, but when it does, it's loud and it's filled with flutters. The nameless performance bypass valve had a louder suction sound throughout the entire power band. It sounded something similar to a tea kettle, like right when it's about to boil. Even though it didn't flutter, the sound is loud enough to surprise you and it feels like it just hits when you get off of the throttle with the nameless performance. So those were just some of my thoughts on the Grim Speed Bypass Valve. Like I said, I'll do my best to insert the clips that I'm talking about so you guys can get a good idea of what the sounds are that I'm trying to describe over the camera. So hopefully that helps. From my experience so far, both are really solid. But yes, guys, that was just a quick video for today. If you guys have any questions on either product, let me know in the comments below. The links to the sound clip videos are in the description. Go check those out when you get the chance. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. But before I go, remember to stay Stay true to yourself and more importantly, stay true to your build. I'll see you guys in the next video.